this is the fellow that many of us think is the best prospect at any weight in Britain at the moment, Ricky Hatton, in the gold and blue shorts here from Manchester. He's in with Kevin Carter from Winston-Salem in North Carolina, who so far has won two and lost four in his career. Hatton would just be taking a look at him for the moment, looking for his ninth consecutive victory. Ricky Hatton here. Been taken the distance, though, in his last two contests, Glenn. Yes, I think it, it's always difficult. It's part of his education, but he's, he's a traveling fighter. He's trying to learn things here, and he's, you know, he's coming a long way for a fight like this. It's very difficult. Also, it's not a big crowd out there yet, so very quiet arena, and that makes it even harder to really concentrate and get into the fight. Yes, they've had bigger crowds than this at uh, Manchester City Reserve matches. And that's a big body shot from Hatton. It really did hurt Carter. You could see him grimace. He's still struggling as well. It'll be a mandatory eight. Oh, he's such a wicked body puncher, Hatton. He's an impressive punch in. That's his favorite left hook to the body. This might not take long. And I think Carter liked that at all. It's rather deceptive, Hatton. He just looks almost like a boy. Made in his hotel room. Was said, are you in a boys' tournament when he told her he was a boxer? This is definitely a rather powerful young man. Might not be too much longer before Hatton is starting to appear before some rather more sizable crowds and attracting a whole lot more interest. Because I think it's with the talent that he has had, it's going to be very difficult to hold him back. Again, a hurt for body punch. He's got him here, he's got him going. This is only a matter of time now. Hatton knows, too, that those body punches are really hurting him. He does not want to know. This is another chillingly impressive performance from Hatton. I think this has got to be the end of it. Carter does not want to know. And I don't think the referee should let him go on, Glenn. Well, he certainly, I guess he stopped him. And rightly so. He wasn't looking like he wanted to go on. He was very badly hurt by the second left hook to the body. And that was a very impressive display from Ricky Hatton. These punches absolutely sickened Carter. Little side steps. There he goes to the right, he's not sure where it's coming, brings the elbow down here, finds a space, and then whips a good left hook to the body in. Well, Ricky, congratulations, nine wins out of nine, but it didn't take long, did it? No, um, it, I'd have liked to have gone a little bit further, but in, in all fairness, I, I couldn't have gone any slower than I was really going. I was trying to, you know, ease, ease back as much as I can, and the knockout come when I really wasn't looking for a knockout, but uh, it's another one under, the, under my belt, it's bringing up my record, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, future step-ups in class from now on. It seems like those body shots uh, are wicked. Yeah, well, that's my game. I'm a, I'm a pressure fighter that likes to come forward. Most of my opponents uh, jab and move and try and keep out my way, so uh, I'm a natural body puncher and actually start the body, try and slow the opponents down and bring the hands down for the headshots, but at the moment uh, I'm not getting a chance to use my headshots because the body shots are doing the job. But uh,